the men and women's tennis teams finish up their fall seasons. And the women's swimming and diving team was in action. Jeremy Sneed has more with sports. Thank you, Corey and Michelle. The SIU football team has lost a key player for the season, and this week's Saluki Sports View will have a live interview with an SIU Olympian. Wide receiver Jimmy Jones will be done for the season after Liz Frank's surgery on his left foot on Friday. The injury occurred in the Salukis' loss at Illinois State two games ago. Without Jones, the Salukis had their homecoming game against Indiana State this weekend. The injury bug struck again as quarterback Josh Strawn was injured in the second quarter, but later returned. Matt DeSomer was able to pitch in by scoring twice, but it wasn't enough for the Dogs. They ended up losing 22-14, and head coach Nick Hill was thrilled by the play of his underclassmen. The Salukis are now 2-5 and five and, will be, and will be on the road next weekend to face the Missouri State Bears. Coach Hill says the Bears defense is always in good position on the field. For the Saluki men's and women's tennis teams, the fall season has come to an end. On the men's side, they were competing at the ITA Regional Central Championship. Peter Baranski made it the furthest in singles play, losing in the round of 16. In doubles, Alex Pozo and Baranski lost in the round of 8. The women competed at the IU Regional. In doubles, in doubles round robin, Caroline Tatey and Yana Golovkina won all three of their matches. In the doubles tournament, Polina Dozertseva and Vittoria Biero lost in the final four. The SIU volleyball team was on the road this weekend to face off with the Drake Bulldogs and the Northern Iowa Panthers. Friday night was a successful night for the Dogs, who defeated Drake three sets to one. Andrea Estrada led the Dogs in kills with 17. Saturday night was a different story, however, as Northern Iowa came out strong. The Panthers won this match three sets to one. The Salukis are now 17-8 and, and tied for second in the MVC. The Salukis will be back at Davies Gym this weekend to face the Loyola Ramblers and Bradley Braves. The SIU women's swimming and diving team split in a three-way swim meet this weekend. The Salukis defeated the Illinois State Redbirds 171-110, but fell to the University of Illinois Fighting Illini 178-103. The team had 14 top three finishes during the course of the meet and won six events in total. The team was led by Brian Hanley and Samantha Parsons in the pool and Rachel Williams from the diving board with all three winning two events apiece. The Salukis will be back this weekend against McKendry University. This week's Saluki Sports View will have a live interview with an Olympian. Former SIU track and field star Deanna Price will be live Thursday night on WSIU. Price competed in hammer throw at the Rio Olympics this summer, finishing 8th place in the finals. This was the first time since 2000 that an American made it to the finals of this event. Since the Olympics, Price has kept busy taking the trip to the Olympic training facility and going to the White House. Prior to the Olympics, Price was busy preparing for Rio. The starting pitchers for the first game of the World Series today. Yes, the NLCS co-MVP John Lester will pitch for the Cubs, and former Cy Young winner Corey Kluber will go for the Cleveland Indians and is in Cleveland tomorrow night. Well, Jeremy, do you have any predictions for us? I, I think the Cubs are going to pull it off. I, I don't know. I just I believe in miracles. And you might be <laughs> a little biased in that. <laughs>